Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel Leonard, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council. We're in day two of New York Luxury Bridal Fashion Week, and I'm honored to be speaking to Yvette Manners, uh, who's a contributor to the New York Times. How are you today, Yvette? Rachel, I'm good. How are you? So good to see you. So great to see you too. You look fabulous as always. Thank you, you too. So let's review the collections from yesterday. Yes. Um, let's talk about Dana Harrell. Yeah, and I feel like so um, this bridal week, is, it's like so being so well received because everyone's like, you know, bridal weddings are back in swing and every all the designers and brands are excited. Um, Dana Harrell, I'm loving. Uh, and I feel like she's really young and fresh and contemporary. Um, there were a lot of um, clean, beautiful silhouettes, not like minimal, but more just like really clean, very young and fresh. Um, I like it also, it's like traditional, but in a modern way. I know, she sort of had like a little bit of a lingerie inspired inspiration. Yeah. Season. Um, I love the the little lace with the button downs on it. It was very mm -hmm. cool. It was very sweet, and um, and some with the you know the, the slits are so big in wedding dresses these days with full skirts and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I love that. Um, it was yeah, it was very sexy collection. Um, I love the um the you mentioned the spaghetti strap and kind of like a ballerina look. It's like lace and fitted, very flattering, very feminine. Yeah, it was very, very, very pretty. I like it that it wasn't a huge collection and that it was just focused. That's, yeah, that's what it was. Focused, I like that. Yeah. And then um, how about Jesus Pero from, from Spain? Oh, yeah. Since he's um, a lot of these Spaniards, um, Spanish designers, they make very big collections. What I like about that is it gives a nice range of uh, options for brides. So it's like very traditional. You see some trends in there. I saw some like two pieces that I liked, um, kind of like overlaid and the skirts, like full skirt with the pockets. I really like that. Um, I took some notes because there were some looks that I really, really liked. I like the puff sleeves, um, the slits and, you know, the long, the very long dramatic skirts with the slits. Um, also very clean. Um, I liked how he used, they use, um, so the silhouettes are clean, but they use details to like really make the dress stand out, like draping, the puff sleeves that are detachable. Um, I feel like that's, uh, again, um, clean, but not minimal, not, right. like, not simple. There's something really to the dresses, but mm -hmm. they don't wear you. They, I mean, I yes. like it. They enhance somebody, you know, a girl could look beautiful in them without it mm -hmm. overwhelming her. And I love how understated everything is, but they have yeah. a fashion, a fashion point of view to it. Mm -hmm. Each dress is, you know, and they always introduce new silhouettes and things like that. So, I think um, that yeah, uh, what I'm noticing too this season is a lot of play on. So lots of, you know, they're being more a little more conservative with the necklines. Still very alluring and sexy, but not like out there. Um, too risque, more, <laughs> more like uh, that it compliments you instead of like, so right, so you don't, if you are wearing a dress as opposed to the dress wearing you. Exactly, exactly. And so Anne Barge. Oh yeah, Anne Barge, I love Anne Barge because she's very, it's, she's like charming um, and fresh. Um, a lot, like a lot of these designers, I like it. And, and I'm seeing the the shades do you, are you noticing this? The shades are more white than before. I mean, like brides could choose any shade of hue that complements their complexion. Right. But I'm seeing a lot more of like a little more pure white on um in, in these collections this season. Interesting. Um, yeah. So it's and barge. I guess it looks makes it look so fresh, like a for a new yeah. beginning. A new beginning, right? Um, and barge, I, they did a lot of play on the the square neck lines so the, on the ball gowns nipped in waist. One of my favorite was a, um, it's like a long dress with high low waist and it's ruffled. That was adorable. Really, I love yeah. that. It's like, a, like, you know, it's a party. And so you just put it on and like, it's festive. Yeah. She does offer so many different looks for the different parties or the phases that you go through for your wedding. It could be for, you know, she has a little white dress collection. She mm -hmm. has, you know, for size inclusivity. 
they, she offers a lot, but that little ruffled dress was very special. It'd be great for a reception or just an outdoor yeah. wedding. And it was sexy yeah. for, for them because usually you think of them as very traditional and yeah. proper and all that. I'm like, oh, that's a beauty, you know, and it was mm -hmm. beautiful. It was great. Um, ball gown is also with like the peekaboo uh, side. Yep. The, exactly like with a little yeah. train in the back it was so mm -hmm. cute and um yeah it was very very on the money very good very very nice collection i'm also liking um the you know the backs are low but they're like a u-shape so it's like a deep u-shape instead of uh -huh. like like you know usually it's like kind of like a v or very deep plunging it's more like to the waist u-shape so it, again it's sexy but not like too risque it's like comf you can wear it and be comfortable that you're not like <laughs> falling out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and shocking, you know, the great grandparents and whatever. <laughs> you don't have to let it all hang out for your wedding. Um, so Yvette, thank you so much for joining me today and have a thank wonderful you for having me. day. And it was lovely chatting with you. And I'll see you later, everybody. Yes. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the Mystique Collection. I've designed each one of these gowns to intrigue and fascinate you while you're looking for the perfect dream dress. No two brides are the same, and as we know, no two love stories are the same. So I've added touches of mystery and fascinating details to every one of my designs. That special gown should captivate the magic of your wedding day and make you feel as if you're living the wonderful dream you've always wanted for your special day. I've been dreaming about all the beautiful silhouettes, the fabrics and laces, the intricate beading, and so many other special elements that bring these designs to life and make your dreams become a reality every time you put on that gorgeous gown you've chosen. The most beautiful thing we can experience in life is the mystery and the magic of falling in love.
Hi, everybody. Now I'm meeting with Simona Poli, editor and co-founder of White Sposa magazine and website. Uh, she's based in Italy and a great friend of mine. How are you today, Simona? Ciao, Rachel. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Fine, fine. I have to say fine. It's so fine. nice to see you. <laughs> yes, fine. <laughs> At the end, we are almost like we, we were. Now, I'm, I'm really glad to see you again. This is the second time we see each other on, on web, web or online. Uh, and I hope the next time we'll be in person, for sure. I hope so. It's enough of this already, but it is fun to do this, I have to say. So looking at the collections this morning on day two, um, let's start with Maury Lee by Madeline Gardner. Uh, I saw it and as usual, I, I have to say that Madeline has got this, this kind of view of the normal, normal girl. So she really wants to, to dress all, all the girls, all the, all the women. Uh, and you can see in, the, in their collection, in her collections. Uh, so I saw the typical cast she normally does, but I also, um, also, on the video, she, she, on the show she, she presents, uh, that she wants to reach the, the, the girl that wants to be um, fashion, but comfortable. So I think the shapes are really comfortable, really, um, I think I have to say glamorous. Right. Absolutely. I mean, some of the course, she said, had some corset looks on the side of the body that was. Um, okay. I, I, I saw a lot of transparencies, but mm, uh, like not, not in the way transparency, you see everything, but just put in the right places uh, where they just mm, give more to the girl, give more to the woman not you know not showing so much uh, but telling okay. look i'm here and this is my body and i want to show you also in the in the wedding day exactly exactly it's yeah. a little bit more subtle than some of the others yeah. um yeah. and her look the location of her video was so pretty it was incredible it was yes very uh grand location i i was yeah. very impressed with that do, do you know where, where it was no, I have to ask her. Uh, yeah, one of yeah. them I do. Yes, it's in New York. It's it's in oh, the Bronx. Wow. One of the locations. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. France, 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 France or Italy? Italy. On the, it, just so you know, there's these old, beautiful homes on the Hudson that many wow. that um, are worn a little bit and they just have great structure to them that a lot of people do photo shoots at. Yeah. So. Uh, one of them I definitely recognize, the other one I did not. Uh, so let's <laughs> go, so talking about location, let's go to Peter Langner. Yeah. Another wow. nice location, but completely no, different. Like... <laughs> completely different. So uh, we go from the French or Italian style to the, the completely industrial style. Uh, it's a location near Milano, we know that, we know it. And I think it was perfect for the collection he presented. I because love it. A, yeah, it's a mixture. It was a mixture be, between his um, timeless styles. So I recognize some details we saw in the last collection, but transformed in a very modern way. Uh, I like very much the all the all the cocktail. Yes. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think the colors were very nice, the grays and the blue. And then I, I found all the floral, florals um, dresses very nice, very, very elegant, but very uh, light. I don't very know. light, um, yes. Wear, yes, yes. Which I think is, is good. good. Uh, it's a lighter hand, definitely. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, I said, go ahead. The wedding, the wedding dresses were beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I, I agree. And I think in the, in the wedding collection, you can find the, the Peter, as I know, since a lot of years. Since exactly. Many years. 
uh, the cuts, uh, the and you may you you, you can understand everything is made by hand. Uh, the techniques he has, uh, he's got a very very big techniques, and you can recognize them on the on the wedding collection. I think. Yes, he, he definitely has a signature look, and yeah. and his he he embraces fabric so much and and uh i think he lets his, the fabric speak to him first and then he drapes and then he comes yeah, up that, with exactly yeah the concept and of I, the dress from there i i agree and you can see fabrics like mikado that we use quite a lot uh, that doesn't seem mikado because it's got cuts and and as you as you say drapes uh, uh, that makes like lighter and doesn't seem the, 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 the normal fabrics you are used to see in other kind of collections. So I think his, his goal is this one to have a very, mm, I think one of the best techniques uh, and, he, and he, he, he knows how to, to, to put on the dresses that is not, you know, you can have the techniques but not be able to transform these techniques to a, to a dress that is, la, is, is nice and the, the, the people like. So I think this is one of his big, 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 big uh, characteristics and I like it for, for this. Exactly. And uh, yes, and it was beautiful. And it was, I loved seeing uh, the whole collection, the way it was filmed. It was, mm -hmm. um, you could see how everything was moved and um, you really got the sense of the dresses. Um, mm. So let's now talk about the Atelier by Professor Jimmy Chu. So what do we have to say about that? I think it's the, the, the royalty. Know, the, They're just exactly, the best representation of the <laughs> royal and princess in all the you know, colors, styles. And if you want to be a real princess, I think you have to see and to, 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 to wear one of these dresses that are incredible, incredible. I think there is a, I don't know how, how many hours of work they have to do to, to make one of these, of these uh, dresses. Uh, I, I like as last, uh, last in, in April, I like this way of uh, filming where it goes inside the embroidery so you can see from very you know near what what is the work of exactly the, of the, yeah they really the went close on the details yeah. exactly so, and i like it very much because in this uh, in this case you can uh, you can understand how much they work on each dress oh it's incredible everyone every dress has got a, a huge a huge uh, work of embroidery colors uh, crystals uh, uh, and i think this makes the, the the dress very important and very royal and very uh, I, I saw once with uh, uh, with a big trail uh, uh, but every 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 dress was you know no this is impossible no this is incredible <laughs> And I think there is that there is a kind of of girl that looks after this kind of, of dresses and wants to be a real princess. Uh, it's, it really, I mean, yes, it is beyond a fairy tale princess, and it really, yeah. it, it it commands like a a very serious venue uh, and to celebrate in uh, one of his gowns. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. You have to be in a very big location, very. It's you know, not backyard. Or, yeah, no, no, it's not the best for the backyard. No. Unless you have a good backyard. I mean, unless no, no, no unless you have, a, you yeah. know, unless you live at the palace. But it's there. Yeah. They're definitely palace dresses. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Well, well, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a great market. And um, everybody, I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you so Ciao, much. Grazie a tutti. Ciao, Rachel. Ciao.
They call me crazy cause I'm facing all my giants They try to scare me into thinking I can fight it They tell me I should never even think of trying But that's just me, I'm gonna live out in defiance It's Rachel Leonard, uh, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council, New York Luxury Bridal Fashion Week. And I am now speaking with Shelly Brown, Senior Fashion and Beauty Editor of The Knot. How are you, Shelly? I'm great. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure. You're running all around, going to all your appointments face to face. It's a big yeah. change. It's a huge, the first time in two years. 
yeah, that I've had face to face appointments. It's it's quite a change, but it's a very welcome change. <laughs> Good, I know it's like a whole new muscle you have to remember how to do. Yes, exactly. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, um, looking at whole class and what you know, what some of the people have uh, debuted this afternoon. Um, mm-hmm. Let's talk about Vanderbilt. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, th- go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this collection was so interesting because it really offered something for every bride, just the range of styles and silhouettes. Um, There was just so much variety, I found. That's so true. And they pride themselves on being size inclusive. inclusive. They've always been that way since, um, since they've been in business. So that was really nice. And they always have a diverse models and their campaigns and things like that. And, yeah. Um, yeah, they had a, you know, uh, they had a look for everyone, it, it seemed, and um, their prices are good, and it's good. Yeah. They- yeah, absolutely. I mean, talk about accessibility in every way, right? Like, representation is so important. It's important for brides to see themselves and your imagery, um, and it's also important to cater to, you know, a variety of body types and, and also personal aesthetics. And I really found there was, you know, a really great mix of clean silhouettes, super romantic silhouettes. So for brides that were doing something, you know, more modern or something more you know, whimsical, and um, there was really just a lot to, to choose from. Great. Wonderful. And Sarah Nora, let's speak about her beautiful collection. Yes. Yes, so classic and timeless. I mean, she's always so, so romantic and so elegant. Um, and I really, really loved this kind of Bridgerton Regency era inspired influence that you could really see through, you know, the square necklines and kind of the, you know, grander silhouettes and this very like formal feel. Um, yeah, I really, I really loved it. I know it was so pretty. And I think she experimented ac- uh, actually with more laces she was playing with. Um, and I, I love that blue bow as well. It's super special. And then there was another dress um, where it had a beautiful fishtail to it or a beautiful, you know, look like a a ruffly train in the back. It was subtle, elegant, but, you know, had a little special detail to it. So that was really pretty. Yeah, I love that push and pull between, you know, things, dresses that are timeless, but also have kind of unexpected details like that, that make them feel a little bit different, like a big blue bow, you know, on a pretty traditional ball gown. Um, I just, I love that. I think it just makes, it makes them stand out in a way, but also makes sure that they're, you know, going to survive kind of years down the road when you look back at your photos, you know, it'll be, it'll still feel timeless to you, you know? Right. And blue, you know, something blue, which we all know was. Yes. Yes. Natural bridal tie in there. (laughs) Natural bridal tie in. And, uh, you know, yeah, you never, will never get tired of looking at that. And, um, and I liked her video that was very carefree. The girl was running through and she seemed relaxed. And, um, and I think that's what brides want to be. They want to be relaxed in their dress and just, more carefree and um, yeah, not, absolutely. you know, inhibited by the structure that they're wearing. And Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was going to say too. I think it's really important to show, and this was so smart that despite having, you know, like a grander silhouette or more voluminous dress that you can still move around that they are still, you know, they are still light and airy and that you can kind of, you know, still do your thing, right. That you won't feel <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, inhibited. Um, I thought that was, that was really smart. Good. Excellent. Well, thank you for your comments today. And it was so great to see you and uh, keep on trucking, going out there and seeing everybody. Um, Yes. uh, Thank you so much. It was so lovely to catch up with you. Catching up with you. Thank you.